I am making this video uh, in response to another request about my hobbit hole. So yeah, um, I, I did do a tutorial on how to build a hobbit hole, but um, I didn't include the interior. And so just for, you know, I really want to be helpful, right? Uh, and so in my attempt to be helpful, we're actually going to go look at the hobbit hole and examine the interior and the structure so that um, at a glance you can see what I did in order to build your own hobbit holes. So this is the hobbit hole you've been looking at. And to, though, you know, the person who requested this, you know what I'm talking about. This is the hobbit hole you want to look at. I'm more than happy to show you what it looks like and what I did. So here's the entryway. And again, I do like to use the wood to go around the side. See, I just use blocks and then I use stairs. Okay. We'll just spruce. Oh, oh, and there's a creeper. And we come inside. And you can see my entryways are not always the same. Sometimes I make them different. Now I use a lot of concrete on the side walls. The all right for the ceiling. And here we have stairs. And then these little slabs that make it look like beams that go across the, the top. The thing I haven't put here yet, I need to put trip wire hooks to make it look like you can hang coats and put chests in here. So let's walk around to the side. And I like a hallway that goes across. And it gives you a dining room area. And here is the fireplace. So, stone bricks, stone stairs. Here, I'm going to put all this stuff in a chest so they don't get in the way of me. Oh my gosh, it really has been a while. I can't even remember where my chests are. Here. <laughs> this is actually technically a copy of the world. I wanted to make a copy so I could enable cheats. Since my original survival world, you know, I don't, I don't like to enable cheats. So I just don't like the temptation of cheating. Okay, so upside down birch stairs, then slabs, slabs, and slabs to make the couch. There's the window. So I got slabs here, and there's a campfire, and oh, I didn't put hay underneath it. I would typically put hay bales underneath it. But see, it's open to the top, so the smoke can go out. It looks cool up that way. Yes, yeah, pretty much a stairs and slabs to create the fireplace like that. Come in here, and here's the kitchen. Stone stairs to the chairs. Smooth stone slabs for the table. This is the cauldron cooking area. This probably looks similar or familiar to you if you watch Lord of the Rings. The, in the beginning, the back end, you got the cauldron co cooking there in the corner. And I just put it one above just to make it look like it actually heats up the water. And again, just really simple, just slabs along the side to make it look like a, another fireplace. This is where I do some of my cooking. <laughs> Something's actually cooking. How about that? And every now and then I'll have an extra space where I'll actually dig out some of the concrete wall or something and just have extra barrels just for even more storage. Now this is something that, of course, is not in Lord of the Rings. I just love it. Having an underground storage. And it just comes down here. And then this is where I do my typical storage facility. And I have, you know, my own way of organizing my chest. And you can go look at my videos. You can just look for a better way to organize chests or something. You can find that. Another warts. I'm going to grow my another warts down here. Potions room. So I can store a bunch of potions. You can probably see that I really enjoy brewing. Where's my stone room? Ah. Wood room. Okay, so I can expand and just fill these up with tons of wood. I like I like having lots of storage. I just I love I enjoy harvesting things. Stone room. So smooth stone on this wall. Stone on that wall. Gonna come up here. And I like to have a, a a hallway. So it's like really it's a circle. I have a hall that goes in a circle all the way around. And allows me to have rooms on the outside, which get the windows, and then rooms on the inside, which don't get windows but are more cozy. This is the bathroom area, basically. These are bathtubs. And all, all they are are stairs. Just stairs that go in a circle, and you can put water in the middle. Some levers and cauldrons. Barrels at the top. You can store some things. Furnace, like if you're heating the water, just you know, pretend, I guess. We come around here. And I like to make sure that it, when it comes in a circle, it's not a perfect circle. It doesn't need to be. But I, the hallways, I don't like to make them square. You know, make them curve around a little bit like this and they look better that way. Come in here. This is just a party room. And you got some fun windows. And I did outline them with oak logs to make them look cool. 
I like a contrast of woods. Spruce, oak, and birch. And I'm not picky always which one goes where. But sometimes just the contrast makes it look like you have beams in the ceilings and stuff. Continue along the hall. I'm actually going to put some, things, some barrels there sometime. Those open spaces you can put barrels. Here's a cool looking hallway. In a different world where I built another hobbit hole, this actually comes down into a uh, social gathering room and there's a secret door. In this hobbit hole I didn't do that though. But here is a really cool just place where you can walk around. Here's a window. Oh, I got a lot of pigs. And it just keeps coming around here, crafting table, and then you come back t around to the other side. Now let's go check the in the inside rooms. After we're done with this, we'll go check the exterior again. So the, this side are guest rooms. Look, I just put wool down, wool down, and then carpet on top to make it look like beds. And these two guest rooms are actually pretty much identical. See, each one gets their own barrel and chest to put things in. Just some stairs to make it look like a little couch. And the room down here is quite identical. Looking at the walls, you can see I use spruce to kind of outline. It makes it look like floorboards. That's why I use one different texture for the bottom, and then the rest is concrete and then diorite. And I did like the contrast. Sometimes I'll do con I'll do the same texture for the ceiling and for the side wall, but here I decided I want a little bit of contrast. But yeah, oops. Just an identical room. And here's the master bedroom. This is something I really enjoy. I give the master bedroom its own fireplace. There's some slabs, some stairs, things like that. And I used wool for the flooring instead of carpet. Right here I used carpet. That's just so I could put down more carpet and make it look like a place where you could sit. Barrels that are only accessible into this room. Then, of course, the main bed. There's the bed frame. You can look at that. Pretty simple. Slabs here, oak logs here, and then fences. And I put slabs right here. There's nothing under there. But it does frame it kind of nice. Barrels on both sides for more storage. And then bookshelves for looks. And then a cozy looking bedroom. Ah, it'd be fun to live in a hobbit hole in real life, wouldn't it? And this comes over to my library and study. So I put in my crafting ta or my crafting my enchanting table right there. Some stuff that we're going to be enchanted sometime. Here's my brewing, and I put some of my... I always put the ingredients of the most important things to me. Cause sometimes I just forget. Stuff for brewing. A big high chair. A high sofa. Isn't that kind of interesting? Just wool and stairs and slabs. Bunch of arrows. Or I can play music right here. And then just random miscellaneous items in there. Okay. Well, you've actually seen the entire interior. Feel free to pause or slow down this video at any point if you want to look at something and examine it so you can copy it for your own survival world. But let's go ahead and move to the outside. Now some things that make it look nice is I like to make sure I use oak leaves around the entryway. It just kind of looks nice. Th these right here are for posting your leads on horses when you park a horse. Now as I said before in my videos there are two ways to make hollow holes. You can dig into the side of the hill or you can pile dirt on top and I personally prefer to build the structure first and then pile the dirt on top. But it's up to you. In real life this is how they do it. They pile the dirt on top afterwards. Here's how I did some of the windows. I framed them with spruce and then oak and then the glass and then I make sure dirt goes around it. And see here, I actually put like dirt that comes out a little ways. I piled all that dirt in there. You don't want the dirt to just come straight down. You want some of it to come out every now and then to make it look more authentic and realistic. There's one area. And see, I, there's lots of dirt I put in there on the side of the hill. I even went and planted trees on top. The one thing I haven't done that I should do is take some bone meal and just go grow some grass here and there. That'll look make it look more realistic. So you have more windows out here. Again, framed them with the oak logs. That's probably my bedroom right there. Yeah, there's my bedroom. You can put iron bars here if you don't want things getting inside. 
Or really, what I do is I actually just put slabs on top of the blocks, then nothing can get in. That's actually, then you don't have to put iron blocks. So you just put slabs, a block and a slab, and nothing can get in. I come out here, and here's my little garden. There's my overlook window. This is my favorite window to look out. I love looking out in the mornings. So my farm, my pigs, all that stuff. My mine shaft is down this way somewhere. Where was it? No, I went too far. That's my mine shaft right there. And over here is my fishing area. I enjoy coming over here to fish. See, I got my own little campfire with just some stone stairs sitting around. This is just where I come and fish. A little fishing cabin. Isn't that cozy? This is how I make refrigerators. Two barrels and birch door. I think it looks fine. Great. That's kind of just a little tour, but of course the whole purpose of this tour was examining the structure and the way things are built. I'm hoping that was good enough. I can't think of anything I might have forgotten. We pretty much went over everything. The only other thing would be to slow down and spend more time on looking at some of the things and the way I b built them. I use slabs for the ceilings just because it's cheaper. But that's pretty much it. I love the study. Study is an awesome area. Okay, well, I, I think that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that walk around. And that is the Hobbit Hole.